when you do it for the first time you're pretty naive you don't really know what to expect but you know you hit the sort of 60 70k mark and you realize that your body's never been through anything like that before i've never walked 100k before to be honest um i've done like uh, tramps like uh, ranging from i guess like your short ones to to around maybe 40 to 60k but never never really really a big walk so um i think this is a big um big big challenge for me and also um i know it's going towards a good cause i've realized it's become it's more difficult than i probably thought at the start i mean a lot of people just say 100ks or how hard can that be just you don't even train for that you just keep on walking but yeah it's challenging but it's good to I think it's a good way to challenge yourself and at the same time raise money for a good cause and just, yeah just give a little bit of yourself back a little bit of your time and a bit of your energy yeah just back to something worthwhile i think Living in a urban and developed country, I think we don't realise what these people in the third world go through. Like, we don't understand what physical exhaustion is. When we exercise, we have food and nutrition to help us, but for these guys, they're starving and then also walking 100Ks just to get water or their necessities. It's nice to do stuff like this, even though it's kind of like quite a lot separated from what these people go through, to kind of try in some way to put yourself in their shoes and kind of do something you know for them unlike what we do for most of our daily lives. I don't think without a team that you can do this. Um, different periods, different times, someone will be energized, another will be down. I think it would be better than better us doing it as a group of friends rather than people I don't know. Um, I guess we've, we've already got like a group dynamic going, so um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. You're going to learn a lot from other people walking 100k to them, it's a long time together. So I think it's definitely going to be a good time to really get to know the other guys better. We've had some really interesting walks on the training, training walks, we're trying to keep ourselves entertained and distracted, so hopefully keep up that kind of humour and that kind of, that kind of spirit and we'll just be encouraging each other. And, yeah, just really looking forward to it. Last year, when I was really feeling it the worst, it's probably quite bad, but it wasn't really the thought of, you know, impoverished people which made me finish. It was the thought of people who donated and who had like kind of supported the team that you kind of felt responsible to finish it for them. Yeah, I think everyone out there is just keen to help someone else, and it's sort of like you can spend hours and hours thinking of a good idea, or days and months even thinking of a good idea to help other people, but. I mean, these charities are well set up, well established, and sometimes all they need is a bit of funds just to help them go in. So I think it's a good way for people to get involved in something when they when you don't have the best ideas of how to help other people. Just to give a bit of money, give a bit of your time and effort. From our point of view, it's a massive challenge. Um, it's it's no easy feat. Like every day, I would go walk 100k, and I know a lot of people in, um, that are less fortunate than us. Um, they. And especially in the third world countries, they, they are they're working quite they work quite hard just to survive. Um, and I think I think we take I think we take our life in New Zealand for granted. So um, yeah, um, it's definitely going towards a good cause. So yeah, um, donate. If you like the idea of people doing something out of their comfort zone for a good cause, then that's one big reason why you should.